Hey, what's up guys? Welcome to the Pixel Lab. I'm very excited to share with you our brand new building kit for Cinema 40. And I teamed up with my friend Rick Ellis on this project and he came up with a really ingenious solution for making buildings that are based on this panel theory where you can create a panel and wrap it around any spline profile and make custom buildings. So I'm gonna walk you through it really quickly and then I'm gonna let Rick jump in and give you some more details on how to optimize this pack. The first thing you're gonna do is install your lib4d that you're gonna download and then open up your content browser and we have five folders to choose from. You can think of the building kit as a three-step process. First you pick a panel, then you pick a spline, and then with those two things you create your custom building. We also have a few additional add-ons and pre-made stuff I'll show you in a little bit, but let's start with the panel. So let's open up this folder and we have almost 60 panels that are basically preset buildings that we've already created and you can choose from them. So let's pick something like this one. And I did want to mention really quickly, if you double click on one of these, and anything in a lib4d for that matter, if you double click it and hit render, a lot of the times it's going to relink the textures. But if you go to File New, and we'll go back to our content browser, instead of double clicking, if you drag and drop this into a new scene and then hit render, there are going to be times when you're going to be missing the, uh, the texture. It's just the way that lib4ds work. So if that is the case, you actually have that texture in your text folder in the lib4d. So that sky uh, texture is right here. You can just go to mode project info and go to textures. And you can actually just drag and drop this texture back in there and relink it. So just a quick note, if you double click or if you click and drag, it actually responds differently. So just a little note. All right, let's start from scratch again. Let's uh, double click that guy. Where'd it go? I don't know. Let's just pick a new one. Uh, the Brutalist, that one's pretty rad. All right, so here is the rig, and you can see that it is built on cloners. So we have one cloner, which is going up. So if we turn that off, you can see that we have our base here, and it's just cloning straight up. And inside of this clone, we have a strip that is wrapping or spline wrapping around this spline profile. It's a little bit complicated, but we basically have the spline wrap with the rectangle spline in it, and then it's kind of cloning these little pieces around it. So if we turn off this cloner, it bakes down or boils down to even smaller little pieces, and these are all pre-made for you, and they're already lined up and ready to go. So that's kind of the nuts and bolts of how this thing works, and now I'm gonna show you how you can modify it. So let's turn our cloners back on, we have a really cool building, but let's say that we want a different shape. So that's where the splines come in. So if we go back to our content browser and we go back to our building kit, we have our splines folder, building splines, and all of these are preset splines. I think there's uh, 17 or 18 of them. And these are already set up for you so you can just use the spline in them. So I'm gonna use something like maybe this oval one. So we wanna use the same panel, but we want an oval shape. So let's drag and drop this oval in, and let's go ahead and delete the scene from here and the camera. So all we have is that oval building. Now, all we really want is the spline, and that spline is right here inside that floor. So we're gonna click and drag this spline into the original building that we like and let go. And we're gonna delete the old rectangle out of there. And let's delete this building now. So we've harvested the spline, but now we have to add it into the spline wrap. So let's just drag and drop it into the spline slot. And now that spline is going to clone our little pieces around that oval. So just like that, we have a custom oval shape. Now, if you go to the top, you'll notice that it's not finishing the spline shape. That's just a matter of every spline shape is a little bit different length. So we have to go to that strip and just start increasing the clones until it closes. So you'll just have to kind of double check and make sure that you close the spline on whatever shape that you want. So we'll just add a couple extra and now it's closed and we have ourselves our building. If you want to have some floors inside the building and a roof, you can turn on the inside floor. That's gonna give you floors on every level and it's also gonna give you a roof. If you want to just have a roof without the floors, you can click and drag with holding control down and let go. And we're just going to drag that up. Now you just have one piece and you can put that on top and have that be your roof. Speaking of roof, we have a bunch of other options to go through in here. And under enhancements, we have uh, four different folders. We have tops, which you can put on top of the roof if you want to customize it. We have roof details like air conditioner units, 
little roof access hatches and signs. We have a bunch of different antennas you can put on top and some different things like flags, fire escapes, um, signs, and a little window mini kit. So those are some bonus things you have. If you don't want to do any of this work and make it custom, you can just go to pre-made buildings. We have a bunch of different pre-made buildings you can just double click and throw in there and you are good to go. All right, so one last thing. We went through the process of picking a panel and then picking a spline. Let's do it the other way, just in case you want to go backwards. So let's pick, um, let's pick this spline, double click it to open it into a new scene. And let's say we like this spline, but we want a different panel. So we'll go to our panels and let's say that we want to do something brick this time. So we'll go to maybe our Renaissance building and drag that in. Like before, we're going to delete the camera and the scene, and all we want is the panel. So where is the panel? All the panel pieces are in that strip cloner. So all we have to do is take these three pieces from the strip cloner, drag them into the other building's strip cloner, and delete what was in there. Then we can delete this building, and now our spline profile that we picked has that new panel. So if you don't like that panel, you can see how quickly this is to work with. We'll just go to, say this, Vica Libra. We'll delete this one, this one. We'll go to that strip, take everything in the strip, drag it into the other strip, delete the stuff that was originally in there and delete the old building. Now we will have that same spline with this new um, panel on it. So that is the building kit for Cinema 4D. Just a few clicks, you can pick from a shape, you can pick from a bunch of different panels and create some really cool buildings, or you can use the pre-made ones that we already set up for you. I hope you guys found that useful. As always, thank you for checking out the Pixel Lab and thank you for supporting our site. We'll talk to you next time.